I said how confident. Those are the rules. It's appointment only. Oh, really? You know, you seem like a nice lady, but I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you. You good processing me through when uh, he's done? No. You're not? Because you do not have an appointment. You're going to deny entry? Yes. I'm fanning out on the inside. I don't even know where you are. Just the fact that you're doing it because, like I said, I'm obsessed with wine. Canaris? Yeah, so and we also have... Oh, really? Sign here that you can be using it. How confident in that are you? You're pretty confident? Okay, I can talk to you out here. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Are you a first movement auditor? What? What's what are that? you? Uh, just working on something. Now I'm going to take a guess. It's either one of three badges are going to show up. Badge 1523, 1414, or K1077. Don't ask me how I know that. But I have been known to use crystal balls on occasion. Carlos! Hey, man. How? Man. <laughs> that dude in there is lucky he didn't bet me three bucks. I said, I called out your badge and I was like, I bet you it's going to be Michael Carlos or 1414. Hey everyone, I am free. It's November 21st, 2023. I am in the city of Tukwila, King County, Washington State. I am here walking towards the United States Customs and Immigration Service office. It's a large immigration processing checkpoint, I'll call it. This office uh, has a lot of people going to it that get assistance with processing their passports, processing their immigration papers, getting visas from my understanding, all sorts of stuff to get them squared away for entering the country, staying in the country, getting removed from the country. Um, a lot of activity, a lot of immigrants show up here. So I receive tips and leads from multiple sources in the area that the, and I know this will be shocking, that the Department of Homeland Security's USCIS was not being particularly kind to some of the immigrants that were going through there and abusing, taking advantage of their inability to speak English well or generally speaking, understand the process. And uh, we're gonna go there, check that out, see if there's any merit to those tips and leads. I received, if I recall correctly, seven or eight, I think it was, uh, basically letting me know, hey, there's a problem here. Do you guys know I take the tips and leads, I kind of vet them, and if it looks like there's some uh, possible teeth there, I go and check it out. So we're going to head there right now. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sorry. I thought no, you were it's okay. No, I realized. I realized. <laughs> I thought you were on the phone. I didn't. <laughs> I was me being on the phone. I realized that. I realized that. <laughs> I just didn't want to interrupt you. Are you a first movement auditor? What? What What's are that? you? I'm uh, just working on something. Oh, I thought what, you were. What like, is that that you were talking about? First amendment audits. Like, I'm obsessed with them. Really? On YouTube. Where they go to places and they. Sorry, hey, I'll call you right back. And they go to places and they're exercising the first amendment right. And I'm like, that is so cool. So, they usually look like you and, and hide their mugs. <laughs> no, not necessarily all of them. Oh, okay. No, not all, all right. of them do. Um, but yeah, so I, I thought you, you work you here at USCIS. I do. Oh, I, nice. I think it's awesome if that's what you're not doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem incredibly nice. I love your attitude oh, about thank everything. You. So uh, thank you. I am here actually working on a story. Okay. Uh, cool. It's kind of weird. Uh, a lot of people have referred to me coming around working on yeah. stories because um, I'm an investigative journalist mm -hmm. as a first minute auditor and I yeah. have seen those okay and it's interesting because they kind of overlap based on what I do I get a t I, own, I own a media company out of oh, Wyoming okay. but I, okay. I live in the Pacific Northwest mm -hmm. and I get a lot of tips and leads oh. from lots of people I kind of vet them you know yeah, I can't just yeah. go everywhere got limited yeah, time yeah true 
and they end up um, pointing me in a direction about 60% of the time, yeah. the tips and leads I get have absolute teeth to it. You know, really? abuse is happening at different places wow. at all levels of government. I so. believe that. I totally believe that. That's just so like, okay, I'm like, I'm fanning out on the inside. I don't even know who you are. Just the fact that you're doing it because like I said, I'm obsessed with well, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. So, you seem so nice. I'm and like, so I'm, this, I'm like, oh my god. How about That's this? I'll, I'll let you know what my channel is. Okay. But you gotta let me finish my story. Don't let any of your coworkers oh, know. Oh, I won't say nothing. <laughs> I won't say nothing because you're 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 exercising your First Amendment right, and Absolutely. you're not. People may not like it, but you're not breaking any laws. Well, not and, only that, but uh, the the tips and leads that brought me to this facility yeah. today, I think, are particularly important to mm -hmm. look into. Yeah. I don't know if they're true or not. That's yeah. why I'm here to investigate. be fair and investigate and yeah. check it out. You know, about 40% of the time, yeah. uh, I go somewhere and there really is no teeth to what I was told, uh -huh. even after vetting it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. But then again, you never know. You I'm actually on my, my lunch break, so I have to go back soon. So I don't know how you would... I could just tell you my channel right oh, now. Oh, okay, that works too. But like I said, if you don't mind, just keep it on the down low until I'm no, out No, I, I, I won't say anything. Um, I appreciate because it. Because... It's it's not a breach of well, security. And you know what <laughs> you know what not. is awesome too hmm. is I run across government employees like you uh -huh. and I'm like, please keep being a government employee. Oh we yeah. want the ones like you. What mm -hmm. we don't want are yeah. the abusive law enforcement or the abusive whatever, right? No, that yeah. are out there. Exactly. We want good at government Abuse employees. Power. We want the bad ones to go uh -huh. and replace them with more of you uh -huh. so we can have a great government. You know no, what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. I totally agree. So it's inland I N L A N D Inland. Yep. Auditing. A U D I N T N G. Sorry, oh. I'm not trying to impugn you. No, it's it actually just popped up like media. Really... I am free. Inland auditing media. Yep, that's you. That's me. All right, awesome. Hey, enjoy yourself. Okay. I will. Uh, well, I, I, will. I hope it goes well. When I say enjoy yourself, I just mean I hope it goes well. But you know, a lot of people aren't versed on it, and yeah, I was. I was one of those people. So. But I'm so glad I'm not anymore. Well, and I will say too because. Uh, of just how awesome you are. Mm -hmm. If you do run across something, my email address is on my site. If you go to the link in the description, it says okay. there's a capture like verify. Yeah, yeah. If you ever have some, you can email me. It's just press at inlandauditingmedia.com. Okay, you I will. Let me know because honestly, I get a lot of stuff from, not a lot actually, a yeah. reasonable amount from government employees that mm -hmm. are like, hey, I saw you doing this thing, but yeah. did you know? Yeah. And then I go back and I check it out later or for the first time and mm -hmm. there's something there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's awesome. So anyways. All right, bye. Oh, you're walking the same way I am. All right. I, I oh, sure well, <laughs> doesn't look like there's any, yeah, okay. Oh, I gotta yeah, go it's front. a restricted area part, but you know what? Yep, indeed. Yep. <laughs> you have a good day. You too. Take care. You know, everyone, I like to think I have a pretty good sense of judgment when it comes to people. You know, you always take you always take risk. You always take risk when you trust and say, sure, I'll, I'll try it. I, you know, when I'm in the moment, I'm pretty good at gauging what's going on. And I, I like to think that that lady right there is awesome. And I like to think she's not gonna go in there and mention anything. She's just too down to earth, just too nice, just too squared away. I could be wrong, but I'd like to see what you guys think. Comment below, should I have trusted that lady? I think she obviously came across as legit and no issues. So we'll see, we will see. Appointment only in the building. Ooh. How confident are you? I'm sorry, sir. Hi, I said how confident. Are you? Those are the rules. It's appointment only. Oh, really? Yes, sir. You know, you seem like a nice lady, but I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree with you. So I just need to go into the inspection zone. And 
Get processed through. All right. Give me a minute, sir. You bet. Hey, Henry. What do you got here? I'll just need to head in and get some business done. Can we help you? Yeah, just need to get in and get some business done. Do you have an appointment today? No. Okay, yeah, we, every, everything we do here is by appointment only, sir. Really? Yeah. So, Canaris? Yeah, sir, and we also have... Oh, really? Sign here that you can be using our... How confident in that are you? You're pretty confident? Okay, I can talk to you out here. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so, how confident in that are you? Okay. I'll, I'll call the federal police. Yeah, call, okay, call FPS if you would. That'd be grand. I appreciate that. And it's Canaris? You have a badge in there? Any uh, any bets on how this is going to turn out? You bet. Uh, you will talk to the federal police when they come. Yeah, that's you, you want to you want to bet how that that's going to turn out? Yeah. Hey, Canaris. Jacket, belts, watches, shoes. Anything else in your pockets for me? You good processing me through when uh, he's done? No. You're not? Because you do not have an appointment. Today. You're going to deny entry? Yes. Okay. Can we and your watch and your belt, please. You guys have FPS coming? I don't know. Yeah, they're already been called. Good, okay. I just, good. I just want to make sure they're on their way. Yep. Any uh, guesses on how this is going to turn out? Any no. bets? Any $10 bet? Nothing? <laughs> should probably just talk to you and say, hey, have a nice day. Well, that's not a bad bet. It's probably not a bad bet. You seem like the wise one in the group. What's your name? Sharp. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I see what's going on here. We got the guy with the right name making the bets out here. Man. Well, I'll tell you it's what. An educated guess, I guess. Yeah, I see that wisdom in those eyes. <laughs> I see what's going on here, Sharp. Yeah, you know what's uh, wacky about Title 41 of the Code of Federal Regulations, 10274-440, or excuse me, 420. It's, uh, it's on your front door out there. So that one right there, that's a no-go. But we'll see how it turns out, right? Yeah. We'll see how it turns out. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take a guess. It's either one of three badges that are gonna show up. Badge 1523, 1414, or K1077. Don't ask me how I know that, but I have been known to use crystal. And I just think those three numbers for badge numbers just seem like I have some degree of familiarity with them. I could be wrong. Nostradamus didn't get it right all the time, right? right? Balls on occasion. And I just think those three numbers for badge numbers just seem like I have some degree of familiarity with them. I could be wrong. Nostradamus didn't get it right all the time, right? right. right? He, had a, he had a couple of them wrong, but generally speaking, the guy was doing all right. I like to give people like that a break, you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe Nostradamus had a bad night, got a little drunk, made a prognostication, didn't turn out right, you know? We all never have know, our bad right? days at work, right? Yeah, never know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you what? I got something fun for you, Sharp. Yeah. I think I got three bucks on me. That's real minimal. You want to do three dollar bets? One of those three badges that shows up? That's odds are in your favor. <laughs> odds are in your favor. I would if I could, but hey. Oh man. <laughs> That's like a that's a good reasonable gentleman's bet right there. Three bucks, it's low cost, low like buy-in. I would if I could. Yeah. 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 How's it going? I haven't got to be famous, so you just need to share the money with me. <laughs> you need to share the money with me, man. It's Christmas time, I need money for my children. I, I hear that as well. I'm in the same boat, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to make me famous? <clears throat> 
owe some money. Well, hold on a minute. Hold on. I think we got this backwards. I'm not famous. So if you're going to be the one that's famous, you need to give me some of the money from your fame. You, 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 you those, you're going to be my sponsor. <laughs> so I, I will not have the recording, so you will. <laughs> How are you doing today? Pretty good, man. How about you? Can't complain. You ready for the holiday? Man, as, as many as I can be. Fair enough. Yeah. The holiday is actually a sad holiday for me because I lost my mom last year. The, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But I'm still going to make the best of the day. I'm sorry, man. Okay. I commiserate. Have you been served? Uh, actually, I'm waiting for Federal Protective Services to show up. So oh. we'll get that all figured out here in a few minutes. Okay, okay. Come forward, ma'am. But thank you for asking. Yes, sure. I mean, we're here to serve the public, so. Look at that. That is awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. Just gotta get right here. I'm gonna hit it Carlos! Hey, man! Now, I'm gonna take a guess. It's either one of three badges are gonna show up. Badge 1523, 1414, or K1077. Don't ask me how I know that, but I have been known to use crystal balls on occasion. And I just think those three numbers for badge numbers just seem like I have some degree of familiarity with them. I could be wrong. Nostradamus didn't get it right all the time, right? right. How? Man! <laughs> That dude in there is lucky he didn't bet me three bucks. I said, I called out your badge and I was like, I bet you it's going to be Michael Carlos or 1414. Well, well, well. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you, What man? are you doing up here I, all the way I from Portland? I knew it was going to be you. The How Patriots are you, man? You're good. How about you, 1523? Pretty good, pretty good. Or do you prefer, do you just prefer Michael? It doesn't matter, okay. Michael's fine. Cool. Michael's fine. How you been, Michael? Pretty good, you? Good, good. Bring you all the way up here. Actually, I am in the area getting ready to do some business uh, at the uh, FAA. Okay. That's about it. Yeah. How about you, what brings you up here? Well, you just literally so the thing haul is, up from Portland? No, 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 you, you, uh, you caught me at a time last time when I was in Portland. Uh, I was just down there for a detail for a short time. So this is actually where I'm stationed. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's up, man? How's it going? What channel are you? Channel? I mean, YouTube channel. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion Michael knows. Well, I think I, I think I know too. I subscribe to you. Well, no way. <laughs> hey, man. Well, <laughs> well, okay. Tell you what. I'll, I'll be totally straight up. What channel do you think I am? I just watched it last night. Citizen. No. No citizen in me. Um, well, okay. Are you that's, an attorney? That's not true. Well, some people say well, I am. Some people question. It don't matter. You, I did see my last video, but I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know which one you're with. I, I mean, like I said, like I told you before, I. Uh, I'm not going to stop you from. from well, I know there is. I mean, up, so. honestly, I know there. I'm not going to yeah. get any problem with you, yeah. Michael. So yeah. I'm with Inland Auditing Media. Okay. So yeah. All right. Well, I mean, good to you see you, man. Nice to see you, man. Yeah, no, that's great. I'm Gandalf, by the way. Carlos. Carlos. Yep. Well, he's a holdout on me. He doesn't want to tell me what his first name is. Who's that? One four one four. Oh yeah, he works in the South End anyway, so. Oh, so he actually is down in uh, Portland. No, Tacoma. Oh, he is. Okay. Not, not that I had a problem with no, him. I mean, sorry, he was really nice. But anyways, I just got to get in there and get some footage of the uh, main lobby. So. Okay. Yeah, just, just so you know, because of. We can't go back that way with people go because that's like PII. People are talking about their base. Yeah, I'm the biometrics area? Yeah. Totally not going to go there. Got I'm going to go through the left. So you mind letting them know because they're just no, like, no, we're oh, not well, going to. No. Okay, cool. Oh, that's why I'm good here. to see you again, yeah, man. man. Yeah. That, vi that, that video got 102,000 hey, views. Good job, man. Seriously. It you went all the way to headquarters. You didn't get enough love on that. I, I it's just, all good. I don't, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in this business yeah, for Yeah, uh, I know that. But you that. know what? Seriously. But, hey, I got my exclusive video now. <laughs> Michael. Ha ha. Come on in, man. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He's good to go. He's good to go. not going to go back to the uh, biometrics area. Uh, this is a. Ooh. Ooh. Did you hear that? Rough. Rough. Right here. Come forward. Right here, man. Right here. Awesome. So everything in here, your jacket, yep. your belt, your watch, and your shoes. Hey, sir, go back. I'll call you up. 
start with, can you smell the freedom in here right now? That's an enormous amount of freedom. That is exactly what the United States is about. Woo! Man! Bald eagles and freedom, Shark. Bald eagles and freedom. I don't know, Sharp, if I look like I'm eight feet tall, but I feel like I'm eight feet tall right now. That's how much freedom. I'm wearing freedom shoes. What's that? I do. You know what? That's a legitimate call out for me right there. I'm going to take that advice, and I'm going to get a freedom shirt next time, okay? Legitimate. I'm here to bond, uh, bond someone out and uh, the time says 3 o'clock. I've been here like... Uh, okay, let's go out here. Yeah. I've been here like one one fifteen, and now he said like come back tomorrow. Why it's and now that guy is telling yeah. you can't be here? Yeah, he said you can't be here if you if you can't leave. you uh, We can't, can't help you tomorrow as well. Well, I just want to share something with you. While you're in the, while you are while you are in the United States, you have liberties. Yeah. It is your First Amendment right to be in this building right here, right now. Yeah. So he just said, just leave, leave, leave. Now you can say it. Yeah. And uh, it's one fifteen. I came here, and the time said that you can, uh, you, you can put the bond up till three o'clock. So why, why would I need to leave? Gotcha. Okay. Well, hey, look. Again, you know, it's your First Amendment right. You can be here. You are here. You have your First Amendment right. Yeah. So, remember that. That's why we're the best country in the world. Because we've got all those freedoms. Yeah. <laughs> How many United States you Yeah. Well, I'll hang out. Okay, no worries. If you need me, Yeah, I'm here. Everything good? What's up, brother? Yeah, we're fine. All right. Going away. So, how's the last week been? Eh, you know, it's coming up to a holiday weekend. I mean, you know. You ready for it? I'm, yeah, I'm supposed to be I off the rest it. of the week. Are you? Well, that's good. Supposed to be, keyword. That's good, that's good. Yeah, no, I uh, I am ready for, I was just asking a couple of people, I was waiting. What, I'm ready for my favorite, because you know, as I get older, I can't just go smash back food like I used to, no. you know what I mean? You're like it's really a risky. It's thing, yeah. The next couple of days are gonna be terrible. So I get a moderate amount of the, the staples, and then I get a moderate amount of my favorite. And my favorite, my staple is, for dessert, I want treacle pudding. And then I have a nice, dry, dirty martini at the end. Yeah. And it caps it off perfect. What about you? What's your staple? I love the pumpkin pie. I don't know. Warmed up with some with some uh, whipped cream on it. Yeah. But I, I've been like the last several years, I'm like just small moderation and portions and don't because you know, a few years ago it was easier to digest. Now that you know I'm older, it's like, uh-uh. So. Man, I'm right there with you, man. It crushes me. Like, it, you sit there and you smell it and see it. Like, I'm, a, I'm weak for, like, Brussels sprouts, like, when they're salted and crisp. Mm -hmm. And I'll sit there and I'll eat a whole bunch of that, some turkey, mashed potatoes, whatever. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. What are you going to for? Yeah, up there. Good question. Yes, sir. What about the ceremony, the after session ceremony? Mm. My wife is outside. Chicken coming. Yeah, she just has, has to come through the stream now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, um, I'm cooking a uh, a ham and a turkey. Nice. Um, got some people coming over just low key and watch some football, just chill and see what happens. I mean, we've been dealing with some stuff here lately with these uh, protests that are coming out, but oh, that's just that's just part of it. It is what it is. You don't think you're gonna get pulled in for that, do you? I don't. I don't think so. They're they're been peaceful. It's not a big. Not a big deal. The building's going to be closed anyway, so it's like, sure, sure. So deal. there's been protests here? No, not recently. Oh, okay. um, mostly downtown at the federal building. Oh, yeah. 
which is whatever. It's part of it, you know. It's kind of like, isn't it routine these days? Jeez, that's too much, man. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna go grab the rest of my footage, Carlos. That was yeah, really great yeah, to man, see no, you again, anytime, man. Anytime, yeah. And I, I wish you and yours to have a really you too, fantastic. You too, man. Give me Yeah, okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I like that ending of that video. That was hilarious, bro. But, uh, I laughed so much. Oh, the montage? Yes. I, you know, I give montages out when I really think somebody has done fantastic because, I mean, as we talked about before, you get good and bad and everything, right? Private sector, public sector, everything. And when I get great law enforcement officers like you and Michael, specifically you two, that come out and defend everyone's liberties equally, not showing preferential treatment, but you just do it right down the board. That's what we want. We want people like you. And we want to get rid of the bad ones and have more of you guys. It's too easy, man. It's, it's, there's, no, there's no controversy. The courts have ruled and let's just follow it. There you go, man. Hey, take care. Yeah, man. because I squirt away and awesome you are. There is a story I did, like a little mini documentary, it's an hour and eight minutes, I think it was, on CBP up in, in Blaine. Okay. If you watch that story, you will find out that those signs they have right there, I see them. they are not supposed to be there. They entered into an arbitration agreement, DHS did, with... I know. You're familiar, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, so that was part of it because a lot of these people come here they don't understand just how many freedoms they have just physically. They're just here them. to get their business done, get their citizenship or green card or whatever. Yep. And, and so, you know, these things got to be there for the, to protect them. So if they do run across someone who it, they can video it and they know that. That's awesome. You know that ruling. That was a real bruiser. Hey, Carlos, is there actually a like a building administrator I could talk to, a manager? Do you know who I would talk to? Um, well, there's several. It's a field office director, but th those folks are like way up here and without prior appointments. It's not going to be I, 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 I couldn't get you this year. Yeah, fair enough. I get it. Oh, Great sorry, to see, see you. Yeah. All right, you have a good Thanksgiving. Yeah. Hey, guy, you good on the freedom? Sorry, you good on the freedom. All right, here Thank we go. You. That's it here for today. I'm done covering the story. So I'm gonna head out. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, watching keeping up with this uh like share subscribe hit that all notifications button 
so you get all my stories when they come out comment below you can also follow uh, my stories on x at i am free auditing and if you want to keep me on the road help keep me on the road you can always find my venmo and cash app links in the description of every video it really is appreciated it help, helps keep my feet on the street so really appreciate it guys thanks for watching